there it is the next pinstripe project we're banging them out right now just because uh they're ready this is orange with gold ice on it that's the you know background color there i'm going to set this up for yet another kaleidoscope uh pinstripe job all right we're going to get into it got the brakes in here i'm paying out you can see them i got my border line all the way around right here this is just eighth inch masking tape i have this as kind of a guide to kind of space these out a little bit you know in in threes you do it in fours you can do it in fives i like threes because then it gives me more uh space to operate and setting up the the artwork that's going to be replicated three times but there we go i'm going to go ahead and uh, do the grid i'll show that and then uh we'll get striping on this thing now the next step i do on this is uh, start by um, lining up an inch mark right on the rim on that inside rim there and then i'll mark every inch out that uh to the rim to create uh the bull's eyes here and then uh, after that, I will do the compass um, and match up all the marks. And I got it, you know, right here, and then there, and of course right there. So <clears throat> that's uh, to set up the bullseye. I won't show doing it, but I'm just going to basically just take the compass here. I'll line that up, and then I'll go around, and I'll go all the way to the outer rim of the saw blade here and then that's where my bullseye marks are and then i'll come in and then create the spokes going this way and i'll show how to measure that as well putting down the bullseye right here it should match up with the other side right there perfect and then bring it back around it's not showing up on camera probably, but showing up on saw blade, that's all that matters. Match right up. So there we go, that's how I do that. And uh, then I'll expand from there. So anyway, so I'll show this folks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the outside diameter marks. But how I'm going to uh, get them all lined up is I'm actually going to take this ruler and putting it basically halfway down the eighth inch mark. And that doesn't look right because they're not quite exactly right. But I'm going to try to center this up. This turned into a pain ass and a failure. Um, that looks good there. So let's see. Look at it again. That looks pretty good. I'm just kind of not totally exactly doing this uh 100 correct we'll say or uh uniform or symmetrical you just kind of iron it up here a little bit now you see it's fairly close there and i'll do the same thing here kind of iron it up a little bit over and this is so i can start measuring my one inch marks there it, you know pretty good and then uh, this one up. Mind you, this is hand done. It's not computer generated, so there is going to be some of that human error. In my case, a lot of human error. And uh, hopefully, I'm not blocking the view with the camera with my hand. And there's that. That's nah, fairly close. And then I'll come in one inch each direction off this center line here until the edge. That way, when I have my bullseye, it's all uniform, and then I got pretty much equal spacing right here and here. So, anyways, I'm not gonna, I'll just kind of talk about this real quick. So, I take this, I'll bend it, and I'll put my inch marks. And uh, that's how I do that. I'm not gonna show it because it's gonna be pretty monotonous, and, and everybody will just click off and go uh, watch something else. All right, that's it for this little portion and i'll shut up now now here's what this looks like with the all the spokes put in on the bullseye just kind of pan that out a little bit but there you go and then i'll start coming in with the omnichrome pencil and putting in my design replicate it in all three sections and uh 
I've done this video before, but there you go. Okay, here's the selection of colors that I'm going to be using on this saw blade. Right there. And here's the patterns. This is the first color, I'm doing yellow. And then we'll see how it looks. Well, time lapse it. How about that? Here we go. There it is. Look at that. First color. I like how this is already developing. It's going to be pretty cool. Next color going down. Okay, I got the next uh, guidelines down right here. And whatnot. It's going to go magenta. And uh, there you go. We'll get it striped. Maybe I'll do a little time lapse. All right, there it is. Second color in all three sections. Looks good. Pretty happy with it so far. Now I got to get the third color on, and I may or may not do the fourth. We'll see how it comes out. Now I got the guidelines for the blue put down. We're just going to go ahead and start putting the blue on. I'll show that. Uh, again, I'll just get it started, and then at the end. Okay. I went ahead and put some orange on right there and there. The blue's all finished, and then I had all this big voids everywhere, so I wanted to fill it in. I'm going to put some red in here on these lines, and then some dots, but it's looking pretty good. It's getting very kaleidoscopy now. So I'll show it again here in a minute. There it is, all finished up. Nice little kaleidoscope. And uh, change this light here. Looks good. Got to do some just little little touch ups to make it better. And uh, get it in clear. This project's done. Okay, here's this out in the sun. It's uh, obviously an orange base coat with gold ice in it. And uh, I'm real happy with how this came out. Is it perfect? Nope, it's not. I'm gonna start spending way more, a lot of time refining all my skills, make them better, but here we go. In concept, this is a very interesting piece and uh, yet again, another kaleidoscope. And just look at that ice pearl. I don't know if it's even coming up in the camera. 